How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video today. I am at a brand new lake. Ne well, no. I have fished here at this lake once before. Years and years ago, I caught two catfish from it. But I have not been back since then. This lake is home to some pretty big catfish, bass, and today's target species, the northern pike. The goal for today's video, catch and cook a pike. I have cooked one in the past on my old channel. I used to have a video, but it is no longer. So hopefully today we're gonna get another pike and cook it up. We have about four hours left of daylight. So hopefully we can get it done before then. I just wanna catch one fish. If I can catch one fish, mission successful. I don't know a whole lot about pike, but I've caught two of them before. And from those two, here's what I know. Pike are freaking aggressive and anything that swims in front of them, they're gonna kill. So I think I'm gonna start it off really, really simple. We just have here a MEPS spinner. And if the spinner doesn't work, which I don't know why it wouldn't work, but if it does fail, we have a big spoon that we could throw. And we got Rapalas, of course, you guys know the drill. Another interesting thing about this is pretty much no matter where I'm fishing, I always have the chance of catching a trout. But today, as far as I know, there are zero trout in this entire lake. So we're not gonna be catching any trout at all today. So that's gonna kinda be interesting. It's either gonna be a bass, pike, a catfish, and who knows what else is in here. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about this lake, so. First cast of the day with a spinner. Okay, holy crap. I'm sorry, I must have tromped on her nest or something. Oh gosh, that freaked me out. <laughs> what do we have here? Got like a little mini pond right here. The main lake is over there and then it's running water through this pipe. I wonder if there's any fish. This looks a lot deeper than the main lake. <gasps> Whoa, was that a fish? That might've been a fish there, folks. Could be wrong, but that really felt like a fish. How crazy would it be if I caught a fish in here? <laughs> All right guys, 30 minutes throwing a spinner here, nothing. So I got the Rapala. I don't know. No sign of fish anywhere. Hello. Hey, where you at? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. And there he is. There's the guy. There we go, there's a fish. Oh no! Oh, I got him! I got him! I got a fish! 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 That feels like a good one too. Oh, what is that? I didn't even catch him! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! A pike! A pike! Whoa! I snagged him! How the heck did that happen? What? Oh my goodness, guys, check that out. Wow, I've got razor sharp teeth if I grab his head and two trebles and a very aggressive pike on the bottom. I'm just gonna, he's not very big, I'm just gonna flip him right up here by my backpack. Pike are very hardy, so he, he'll be okay. That is my third pike of my life and technically I didn't even catch him. You know what, I'm just gonna grab him by his head here. I think that's how you do it. Yeah, just like that. Get the trebles out. Very careful, buddy. <sighs> Look at that little pike. That is so cool. Guys, my buddy Grayson just got here. I'm gonna go up and show him real quick. How goes it, good sir? I snagged him on the back. He definitely swiped at it and went for it, but. Had any other bites? Nope, that was the first one. 
Oh, check that out. Got a stringer just sitting here on the ground and that is good because I didn't bring a stringer. It's fate. Well guys, I have decided I am gonna keep this guy because I don't know how slow it's gonna be. So we might call him out later. We're gonna put him on the stringer and uh, we'll see what happens. <sighs> All right, buddy. Whew. Pike are some cool looking fish. I mean, just look at that. That is a cool looking fish. By the way, guys, don't get triggered that I'm holding him out of the water for a while. Pike, from what I hear, can actually survive out of water for an extremely long period of time, like hours. So extremely hardy fish. I'm not too worried, even though we're probably going to keep him. But uh, there we go. Fish number one, baby. All right, so we got Grayson fishing on the other side of the pond. He's using a crankbait. But uh, that Rapala, like I said, even though I snagged him, pretty sure he at least swiped at it. So hopefully that means I'm using the right bait. Or I just got really lucky. Here we go. Fish on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Woo! Holy cow. Ooh, another pike. Check this out. Look at that. Not snagged this time, boys. That is a catch. Nice. Haha. <laughs> so since I caught this guy in the mouth, I think I'm gonna keep this one and let that other one go. This one's a little smaller and, you know, I'd rather have a smaller fish to cook. And I just want to avoid all the comments saying, oh, you kept the fish you didn't even catch in the mouth. So I'm going to avoid those comments and just keep this guy and uh, let the smaller or the bigger one go. All right. So I'm going to get this guy on the stringer before I let that other guy go. Wake up, buddy. Yeah, you're okay. Nice. Two pike, folks. That is how it's done. <laughs> this is so fun. Get this guy off the hook. Got to be very careful. If I caught a 40 incher, eh, that would be quite the time getting the hooks out. I don't want to go in for the pliers just yet. Nice. Hey, chill, man. I'm going to let you go. It's your friend here I'm going to cook up. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, dude. Chill out. Now we're going to let this guy go. Officer called. You're on parole. Nice. All right, Jimmy. There he goes. All right, now we'll take our new prisoner. Just set him in there. Heck yeah. There we go, guys. Two pike on the day. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much when I came out here. So to catch two like that, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And we still got a lot of time left. Oh my gosh. Whoo. Great, oh man. I just caught like a six incher. Whoa, that was a little baby pike. That would have been cool to get on camera. Gosh dang, I thought I was snagged and had a little baby pike. Dang you guys, that was number three. Caught him right along these rocks, right here in the shade. There we go, hooked up. Hooked up baby, 30 minutes since the last fish. We're hooked up here. Mm. Woo! Did you see that? <laughs> Dang it, man. The last two pike have shook me off right at my feet. The bites are few and far between, but there's pike in here. Guys, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna Google whether or not there's a size limit of pike in this lake. Just to be safe, we're gonna look it up. Okay guys, found something here. Increasing the statewide daily limit for Northern Pike from six fish to 20 fish with one over 36 inches. Because Northern Pike are voracious predators, this change would help protect native fish species and sport fish. Boom, there we have it folks. He is of legal size. All right, I'm gonna head over there and cook him up. I'll see you in a minute. It's getting to that perfect time of night. The sun is going behind the mountain. The shadow has been cast over the lake. Almost no wind at all. What a beautiful evening. Beautiful looking pike there. I'm gonna try to fillet him. Uh, I know filleting pike is a little bit trickier and I'm just gonna wing it like I always do. 
I'm just gonna fillet it like I would a trout and see what happens. Wow, these bones are a lot harder to cut through than a trout. Ooh, man. Ooh, like a lot harder. Wow. Nice, there we go. Look at that, how cool would it be just to like have a pike head and just dry it out and mount it to the wall? He's still got some pretty mean chompers in there. We're gonna put in some water. And some butter. And then guys, we're actually gonna be cooking up some rice aroni along with the pike, just to, you know, change it up. A little side dish. Herb and butter flavor. Bring this to a boil. All right. Turn the heat down just a little bit. All right. Just dump in about half or whatever looks right. I don't know. Hmm. I feel like I did something wrong with this. It just looks too soupy. Um, oh, uh, let it go for another minute. All right. What a beautiful night. You got white gumbo. A little crunchy. Nice. Nice and better rice. Set it in there. Turn the heat down. Don't want to burn it. I just got a little bit of salt, pepper, and lemon pepper in this bag. all the way through. Meat is flaking away and breaking apart. I do see a lot of bones in there though. That might be a struggle. Dude, that doesn't look bad. I've had pike before but it's been like three years. And I'm already seeing bones. All right. In the bigger fish, you can. There's a way to avoid the Y bones. Hmm. This piece has no bones. It's a little more lemon. The rice is not exactly good. No, it's good. I don't think I cooked it all the way though. There's a few little crunchy pieces, but it's not that big a deal. Wow, there are a lot of bones hidden in there. There, yeah, there you go. I don't think it should have any bones. Pretty good. Well guys, I'm gonna end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're just gonna be chilling out here watching some TikTok until it gets too dark, but if you like this video, go down there, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Any last words, Grayson? No. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.